Hello and welcome to the Dutching Channel. It's Friday the 3rd of May 2024 and it's 8.20 in the morning <clears throat> and we're going to do the selections today from Musselburgh. I've just uploaded Goodwood. I'm hoping it is going to upload properly because I think I had a problem with YouTube last night. I couldn't download or upload anything at all and then I left a couple overnight and they finally worked when I got up this morning. So I'm hoping that the one I'm doing at the moment behind the scenes is going to load. But we're going to do muscle breath. So we'll have a look at the non-runners today. First of all, in the 140 Twilight Diamond is a non-runner. And then going through the rest of the cards, there is no non-runners at all coming up. So we're going to have a look into the spreadsheet now. And the first race at Musselburgh this afternoon is the 2.15 for us. We've got five betting races. And in the first race, our top selection is going to be Gobi Sunset. So we're going to start with Matchbook and the exchange there. And Gobi Sunset at the moment is second in, and that currently trades at five. So stakes of £20 will return us £100. Uh, Homer Stokes is the next selection. That is 8.8, .8 and stakes of £11.36 would return us £100. And Keep Me Stable. That is the third in, that's currently 22, and stakes of £4.55 would return us £100. New Tycoon will be the next one, and that's currently on 32. So stakes of £3.13 would return us £100. And we've got £10.97 left to spend. And this star next to Gordonstown means it was going to be running yesterday. So let's have a look here. At the moment, the price there is 20. So stakes of £5 would return us £100. And that leaves us now £5.97. And our next selection is going to be Kelpie Gray. Kelpie Gray is the favourite. This is 2.08. I think that's why we managed to get quite a few selections in this race, because of the price of that one. But we've only got £5.97 to stake on that favourite. So, the Musselboro 2.15, we've got... Five running for us here. Gobi Sunset, Homer Stokes, Keep Me Stable, New Tycoon and Gordon's Town. One of those five would return us £100. And Kelpie Grey would be the lesser amount. But the lesser amounts I will cover when we do a recap with the calculator. So into our second betting race at Musselbrook. This is the 250. Treat of Treats is our top selection. And let's have a look. Treat of Treats, that's currently showing at 10.5. So states of £9.52 would return us £100. Into the second selection, Profiteer. And Profiteer is also 10.5. States again of £9.52 would return us £100. And Keldio, that's our third in. And that is 13.5. States of £7.41 would return us £100. And Scoops Ahoy is next. This is currently trading at 5. And states of £20.00 would return us £100. So, so far, we've laid out 46 46 so we've got £3.54 left. And who goes there is the next selection. 
and that's currently favourite at three point five. So three pounds fifty four is going to be our stake at three point five on our last selection. So Musselburgh two fifty. We got four running for us. Treat of treats, profiteer, keldo, and scoops ahoy. And the one with the less, well, one of those four will return us £100. And who goes there will be the lesser amount. Into our third betting race, this is the 325. Our top selection here is Let's Be Frank. And let's be frank, this is currently favourite at 3.7. Stakes of £27 and 3 pence will return us £100. And our second selection here, the Dancing Poet. That's currently trading at 11. And stakes of £9 and 9 pence would return us £100. And Desert Quest is our third in. Desert Quest is currently 8.6. And stakes there of £11.63 would return us £100. That's going to leave us £2.25. And that will be going on Carlos Felix. And Carlos Felix is currently 5.3. Now looking at this top selection, I'll just run through the selections. Um, Muscle Bra 325, we got three running for us. Let's be frank, the Dancing Poet and Desert Quest. One of those three would return £100, and Carlos Felix, the lower amount. If you look in the totals here, you'll see that Let's be frank, I've got that um, rated 83, and the next one, the Dancing Poet, rated at 67. So there's quite a bit of difference between the top two there. And whether, let's be frank, was at a bigger price than this overnight, I'm not sure. So we'll leave that there. But that is one of the better bets of the day, I think. As we move now into the Musselburgh fourth betting race, uh, the four o'clock here, we've got Top selection, Wadacre Icarus. And Wadacre Icarus is currently at 9.6. So stakes of £10.42 would return us £100. Our second selection is Summit. This is at the top there at 3.4. So stakes of £29.41 would return us £100. And Giorgio M is our third selection. And that's currently 3.7. We're not going to be able to afford that one. So the top two combined of stake 39.83. These is £10.17 pence for our third selection. So Musselburgh, 4 o'clock. Wadacre Icarus. And Summit, one of those two, would return us £100. And Giorgio M would be the lesser amount. So into our final betting race at Musselburgh. This is the 430. Our top selection here is Mondial. And Mondial, that's currently 17.5. But you will see again, if you go down this column here of totals, we've got 60 rated at the top and then only 52 at the bottom. So this is going to be what I call very, very tight race. So Fan Zone is our second selection. And Fan Zone is currently 18. Stakes of £5.56 would return us £100. And Paco's Pride. Paco's Pride, that is 14.5. So stakes of £6.90 would return us £100. So 
But I'm going to be honest with you, when you've got a race that's very, very tight, the idea is to get the outsiders done, because it's no good if you think that, that favourite there is two to one. No favourite in this race deserves to be two to one, or not one of the selections that we're going to bet on anyway. Right, our fourth selection is Loom Large. This is 8.8, .8. so stakes are £11.36, will return us £100. And then the next selection is Ledger. And Ledger, that may be favourite, 4.1, yeah. And stakes of £24.39 pence will return us £100, but it won't. Because I thought we had enough to cover that, but we didn't. So just hold on with your bet there on Ledger. The top four, we've staked £29.53. Leaves us £20.47. So that's the maximum that we can have on Ledger. So getting back to the last there at Musselburgh then, the 4.30. We've got four running for us. Moondial, Fanzone, Paco's Pride and loom large <clears throat> one of those four will return us 100 pounds and ledger will be the lesser amount so we're going to do a quick recap we'll go back to our first betting race of five this is the musclebrook 215 and here we've got five running for us goby sunset homer stokes keep me stable new tycoon and gordon's tune one of those five will return us £100. And Kelpie Grey. We only have £5.97 left for this one. And we're going to have to times that by 2.08. Not the best of prices. And that will return us £12.41. So not the greatest of returns. But we do have five running against the field. Then into the muscle bra. 250. We got four running for us here. Treat of treats, profiteer, Keldio, and scoops ahoy. One of those four would return us 100 pounds. And then we had three pounds 54 left over to put on who goes there. And again, this was favourite at 3.5, so that's going to return us 12 pounds 39. But we do have the other four running for us. And then the muscle bra, 325. Three go for us here. Let's be frank, the dancing poet and desert quest. One of those three will return us 100 pounds. And our next selection, Carlos Felix. <clears throat> we only had two pounds 25 left. So we need to times that by the price of 5.3. And again, it's another poor return, £11.92. But we do have the other three running for us. And don't forget, let's be frank, maybe not a bad selection for the day, that one. Then into the Musselburgh, 4 o'clock, we've got two running for us here. Wadacre, Icarus and Summit. One of those two would return us £100. And Giorgio M, we had £10.17 left over. The price was 3.7. So we would get a return on this one of £37.62, which isn't too terrible. And we got two running for us as well. And into the last race, which is the 4.30 at Musselburgh, we got four running for us here. Moon Dial, Fan Zone, Paco's Pride, and Loom Large. One of those four will return us £100. Then we had £20.47 left over to put on Ledger, and the price was favourite there at 4.1. So that will return us £83.92 plus the four running for us. So that's all the selections done at Musselburgh for today. Don't forget. Hopefully the Goodwood card has uploaded and um, we'll see you again in the results show this evening. But if not, have a profitable day. We managed a good profitable day yesterday, so let's see if we can keep that run going. Thanks for watching.